Hey everyone, this is Ram from Crossmind Studio and welcome back to the second chapter and today we are going to just bring some shape to the idea that we have from the information extracted from the client's brief. In the later chapters, we will be creating whatever the, the title sequence, the show titles. Today, we are just going to focus on how to extract things from the design brief and make a plan of action or to kickstart your idea. So here I'm using Milanote and this is my dashboard and the usually how I start with the daily things is when I have a project simply drag a simple board here let's call this one show title design. So since this is a hypothetical project and uh, we don't really have a brief from the client so what I've done is I have uh, made a, a brief based on a, uh, whatever projects I have done in the past. I have gathered some information in the kind of format you get from the client so that is what we are going to do. Uh, so this is pr pretty close to the actual brief that you get from the client the only difference here is going to be that uh, when you're working on a real project you have uh, maybe four or five round of back and forth the feedback so in this case you will be working on your own but feel free to uh, ask your friends or maybe tag me in your boards if you want for the feedback so or just let me know in the comment section first of all i want to apologize if you hear any noise in the background because because of the bad weather few trees fell and the internet is not working in my studio so i'm recording this video from the home setup so anyways so inside the middle node when you have a new board uh, you usually get these uh, presets so based on uh, what kind of board you want to make so at this moment we just want to populate our design brief in here so you, you can uh, use a sort of a event brief or motion design brief there are plenty of presets but in our case what we will do is we will just use the blank canvas and uh, drop the information that i have from the pdf here so first thing first let's decide a name for the show so for that i'm going to uh, simply use a random word generator so here i'm using a, a website i simply googled random word generator so based on a few parameters over here it's going to give us some sort of a word so let's say let's say let's keep it three let's keep the letters three we don't want to overburden this uh, fun exercise so let's keep it short let's see what random words we get so egg flu sip so let's see if we can find something interesting yeah so we can start with this we can start with maybe a uh, gun or it, it could be a show about uh, guns i think there are a few shows already on the on the tv like guns and gears or something it could be fun it could be uh, some sort of action title sequence so let's stick with this for now so here let's call this one uh, gun or we can actually keep it guns so instead of one we can just use many guns it's not about one gun so anyways so based on uh, this i have a design brief and uh, the very first step which i always like to do is uh, instead of thinking on a blank canvas the effort goes to waste i i usually keep the information in front of me whatever i have so that i'm always thinking in line with whatever is the the requirement from the client so let's bring one uh, note here and uh, let's start uh, typing things one by one so first thing let's bring a column let's call this about the project so here i'm simply going to just paste whatever information i have from the pdf and drag it here and uh, so let's keep this one about uh, and so guns is a tv series for firearm enthusiasts whatever so this is the the outline of the project that i have from the client then let's make a copy of this and uh, if anything else there is in the design brief just put it here so here i have a key message for the creative direction which client uh, have framed in this sentence and uh, maybe we can sort of decorate this board with some images or visuals so let's keep doing that let's bring rest of the information on the board so i'll just make another panel called goal and here i'm simply going to just write down any technical the list of deliverables which i need to deliver to the client so usually the opening sequence have uh, around 30 35 seconds or 40 seconds this could be for social media for facebook instagram t uh, like the promotional content and for the tv as well and uh, there are different edits which uh, the main one which runs after the uh, before the show and uh, the part of it runs after the show and then for the bumper edit like whenever you have the breaks or the promotional events the teaser trailers so at the end of those trailers you have this small edit of the title sequence the logo reveal which is shown so it kind of connects the entire packaging of the show that is the purpose for these kind of different edits so anyways we are going to put that here and then any information about target audience if you have
so if you have some um, the guidelines from the brand or the logo or the brand assets like uh, the colors or the logo of the brand you can put it here as well any anything you can just drag another board and within this board you can just paste your logo or color palette from the the tv channel if you have about the show and most importantly here any schedule which you need to follow for the final deliverable and here you can simply make few boards let's call this one brainstorm so any boards you're making like storyboards style frames you can keep putting up boards here and it's under your project is slowly going to populate this board so this is basically to give you an overview like if you have uh, usually what you get is one ppt from the client powerpoint presentation when pdf you have and the logo is kept somewhere and the fonts are kept somewhere else so usually you have uh, this one board which which have everything and uh, you can bring 3d models here you can bring uh, images moving images or uh, videos which can directly play within this board so you don't basically have to be at 10 different places uh, your information shouldn't be in the 10 different tabs and uh, this gives you a nice overview and also you can uh, simply share this board with your friends you can just invite your friends if you have and then you can brainstorm here together simultaneously like a jam board or something and you can also uh, see their feedback and reactions so for now we are going to leave it as it is and uh, let's start thinking something about the idea that we have so for now let's keep it as it is and uh, let's move forward with let's start brainstorming some idea based on the information that we have so the name that we have the guns based on this whatever information that we have let's start brainstorming about that so again you can use some template if you want What we are going to do is here basically just narrow down our uh, thoughts based on the creative direction that we have from the client. So I'm just going to type type down some of the important things here. So the first thing is uh, the visual attributes, basically the main attributes of the visual which client have portrayed. These are some of the words which came to my mind and then the heavy, impactful, something upbeat, powerful is what client is looking for. On the other side, I'm just going to put in few things which come to my mind. Basically, the very first thoughts which you get by thinking about guns. So we are not directly going to just show guns or uh, just show the models of the guns. So the, the purpose is the title sequence. So the realism is not really a priority here and it shouldn't be like that. It should have some artistic uh, visual it should have some uh, something like more reminiscent instead of uh, just directly showing guns so that is going to be boring let's type down some visual inspiration and uh, we can bring some images later on so just uh, bear with me on this process so the very first things which uh, came to my mind when i was thinking about the guns first thing was uh, the lockdown from the transformers if you don't know what the lockdown is you can just google about that so there is a character the the face turns into sort of a, a very long gun another reference which came to my mind when i was thinking about the loaded and the heavy so apu apu units in the matrix so here i'm just putting images from the google and uh, these are just for the reference purpose so these units the apu units are like pretty heavy and it's a good reference for how the machines can come together in sort of a, a biped formation of the machines i'm taking this information more like in how many different ways we can arrange guns so so this is one of our interesting example and then i was thinking about uh, the gun from the world war ii if we are going for something like a larger than life and uh, the gustav gun if you you can just simply google it it's basically the largest gun ever been made to so i'm just going to copy this link here and paste it into this you can simply press captions if you enable the captions it's simply going to give you the reference the link from where the image came from the website you brought this information from so i'm just going to keep captions here so this is interesting and then the other thing which i was thinking about so we have some visual attributes like um, the main the things which needs to be there the quality needs to be there in the visual and then we have some visual inspiration and uh, uh, the first thing which came to my mind when i was thinking about the guns and so all these are from the visual memory which i have from by playing video games or the, the watching movies and whatever uh for the later stage when i was actually making the visual in the in the 3d then uh the more research i did about the, the textures the 
the surfaces of the guns and all that but for uh, the main formation from where the end page comes in i think this could be these are pretty great references so keep in mind this is more like a time lapse version of the entire process which which ran for so the entire project was around four weeks i'm giving you a rundown for uh, the thought process which actually took much longer in the real time so don't be discouraged if you are not able to think in the short time in actual even myself had to attempt this for five to six times to come up with something use, useful so even the the references changed the sketch changed but for the sake of uh, giving you the breakdown and uh, run through of the process i'm going to keep it compact and short another thing i like to do when i'm working on the show titles or the idents for the channels or something sequence graph with the limited information I have in mind from the client brief and before getting into too much of research, I usually type down uh, the very first thoughts about the sequence. So it could be about something uh, which I remember coming from the Metal Slug game by Neo Geo. So it's a pretty old game. I'm not quite sure if you guys remember this. So here's another reference coming from the YouTube and we are going to just put this here. let's mute the sound so this is the sequence it starts with something uh, very dark and you can hardly see the the tank which is approaching and then you just see the muzzle flashes and things shooting down and then slowly light is going to basically reveal the full picture i think this is the mo most baddest example we used to have in that time this is the closest example the perfect example which i could think of which sort of uh, goes with these uh, visual attributes like heavy impact metallic loaded powerful upbeat quite a few things which popped into my mind and this was one of them so other thing was uh, the mask movie very old movie the mask if you, if some of you might remember this when the mask pulls out all of his guns so i'm just going to put it here as well so yeah this guy the, it's a pretty bad picture quality so there are all sort of different kind of guns so we are not actually taking this for the quality of the visual this is very old cgi it's just that it's it's a great abstract view of a kind of thing we are looking for we we don't want to show one gun we we want to basically show a arsenal of the guns so let's put this here as well I basically wanted to just find few good references instead of getting lost into the usually you have so many good visuals on the internet so it's pretty easy to get lost so this whole exercise is to not get lost and deviate away from the main point and just stick to whatever is absolutely necessary and then slowly build up on that so one step at a time and uh, this is more of a organized process than just thinking and thinking and not settling on an idea so in tight deadlines this works pretty well all right so we have uh, uh, this reference pretty good ref reference for the sequence graph and the other thing you could think of is uh, try to imagine the sequence in your head so let me give you an example like when you're thinking of a sequence for a, uh, let's say we were making a show opener for a yoga show so what would be a sequence like so it would be a graph which goes like something like breathe in and breathe out so it's going to be a calm up and calm like ease in and ease out so there's not not going to be uh, abrupt ups and downs and uh, it's not going to be so dynamic it's going to be maybe a steady and steady pace calm graph so if we were trying to visualize a graph for the yoga so it would be like this like a heartbeat so this is yoga or even even a straight line the relaxed line could be a yoga as well so i'm just uh, just think of it like a music so, so how you see the audiograph the spectrum if we think of a sequence for the guns what what would it be i don't have real life experience with the guns so i'm just going to um, use my knowledge which i have from the video games the most important thing is uh, going to be positioning so the position and then um, what else you have you have this loading and then uh, aiming and then you have uh, basically unloading or you can you can just call it fire so it's a pretty simple thing but if you're talking about a heavy machine gun so the graph is going to be uh, something like this so you have uh, i'm just trying to visualize this uh, action into a graph so it would be uh position loading and then maybe 
I mean, there's not going to be a steep curve here. So you maybe see one thing at a time, maybe like this, this is a build up or this is a graph. So just, just try to think about a graph. So, um, I'm just trying to put my point across so just don't go for the drawing which i'm doing here position loading aiming and unloading so our video or the whole edit is going to be something like uh it's going to run at some uh, equal pace and doesn't have much of a build up at, at the start and then we can maybe have some some build up right before we hit the final point and then we can end end it with the calm uh, the exit frame or we can just leave it here so this is the kind of uh, progression we are going for. So something like this, what we have in this video, we could uh, actually start with something dark, uh, tease the audience with what they are about to see. So this is a pretty great example and uh, don't feel shy from uh, taking inspiration from uh, other ideas. So this is how the creative world works. You take inspiration from something, then you build upon that idea, you make something greater and then somebody else is going to take your work as an inspiration. So just use uh, any other method if you have to visualize your idea. I'm pretty sure everyone have their unique ways of coming up with the ideas in their head. So these are some of the things which I like to do. And then so last thing I'm going to do here is just type down all sort of keywords, the kind of keywords that we need to um, fill the image with or uh, do some research to run the search. So all those small, small things we are going to just put it down here. So here I have some keywords, uh, pretty basic things which we have like fire, explosion, charge, impact, powerful, ammo. So these are useful if uh, I'm just typing this, these down here. So later on when I'm searching for uh, things on the internet for the for the visual, for the sound effects, for the visual effects. So I could just uh, uh, use these words and then and then these are more of a meta keywords like uh, the guns of mask matrix guns web program and then these are sort of footages i'm going to just go through again to spark the imagination to refresh my memory which um, which came to my mind so tank head uh, diesel punk wolfenstein age of extinction lockdown weapon which we already have here so let me just bring another great image of uh, this guy here so this is an actual um, better visual of what this character is about um let's put it here now with these thoughts you can um, start to frame the visuals the ideas keeping in mind all the constraints that we have so we have this, the target audience of the 18 to 55 years i forgot to put down the target audience here so you have a sort of guidelines for what kind of show this is this is going to be uh tv pg category put this here keeping all this in mind uh the target audience the, the duration that you have so just keep all this in mind while you thinking of a visual so anything over ambitious which might won't fit into that much of duration so let so let's say you have a uh, 35 seconds of edit from the 35 second you can uh, simply take five seconds away basically the end the, the last five seconds are there for the logo to stay and uh, to exit into the later part of the promo so five seconds out of the ident and then uh, the rest of the 30 seconds or 25 seconds you have so any sequence which cannot fit into that uh, duration is going to be useless so it's safe to assume that we we need to finish this one into four to five shots we don't want uh, anything which is uh, suggesting any morality behind using guns so i think that is in the guidelines the client only wants to focus on the history craft news and trending topics and in no way it should uh, suggest any kind of uh, morality of using firearms so we want to keep any uh, these things away from uh, any keywords which are suggesting war crime or any sort of uh, in human interaction just the machines so we are thinking about a sequence within the these limits there are many ways to approach a uh, show title and uh, there's not really a one method or one way you can approach and as many people there are on this world that many different interpretations could be for for a title sequence or for anything which is uh, uh, creation this exercise basically means uh thinking in the limits of the time thinking in the given constraints and uh, this takes time and this demonstration is quite limited so just feel free to think beyond this feel free to spend more time onto this but keep in mind that you have a schedule to stick to 
you have a uh, few uh, guidelines to stick to from the client and anything beyond that is going to be total waste of time it's sort of a, a small discipline for your project so thinking on a very rushed schedule what could be the treatment for a title sequence which is a heavy metallic loaded powerful upbeat and we don't want to suggest any morality it, it should be just about the craft history or the science tech behind the guns keeping all that in mind and these visuals let's think of a few ideas so one of the idea could be simply let's say about the evolution so one of the idea could be the evolution a walkthrough of different models from different era so this could be about uh, so basically we have different models from the history this is really distracting so i'm just going to put that away and then this is a pretty cool reference from the wikipedia i think one of the way we could approach this title sequence is by showing the evolution uh, and uh, starting from the oldest model these could be some really detailed visuals some really detailed models uh, with some nice composition and lighting let's put that here and the other other way we could deal with this is we could go something like uh, abstract or Im impression so this could be something more uh, abstract instead of directly suggesting guns it could be like more of a reminiscent to, to what this show is about instead of a direct reference this could be an ab abstract for formation of the guns more like uh, audio visual which is uh, where you have this sort of a music piece and um, nah, then we play around with different compositions and the, that could be one of the way to deal with this but this is not quite a clear exam uh, in my head at this moment so i'm just thinking different mediums and uh, the third way would be make a logo type for this so usually uh, the clients have uh, show titles uh, the logo which is about to present at the end of the, the title sequence so mostly the clients are going to give you a logo type uh, the font or whatever is the unit that needs to come at the end of the the sequence uh, but sometimes for the generic shows they don't really have a logo type so uh, they leave it up to you so in this case what we can do is uh, so one thing which uh, which i can see in most of the the large guns when uh, the presentation of the guns is the composition which uh, the other composition of the lockdown of this or even in this case uh, there, are, there are few things in common about the composition is uh, pointing in this diagonal uh, direction so we could use something like that to uh, make a logo for this but if we have something of a, a unit where we say so let's say if we have a unit which sort of looks like it's a it's part of the gun itself and then we have um, sorry pardon my stupid drawing here i'm just trying to record the idea before i forget it so here we have uh, some muzzles and then we have uh, some ammo going on so we could do something like this and uh, so this whole thing even though this is not a gun uh, when you look at it it looks like a gun i i mean although there is a direct uh, visual example a hint here the muzzles are obviously coming from the guns but we are not showing one full gun so in in this case we could use um, a much heavier visuals so for instance in this case we could only show one one model at a time and uh, this wouldn't look heavy this would look uh, the visuals going to be very good i mean the models and all but it lacks the quality of uh, these images like the heavy the overloaded the powerful so all that can come here in this example and uh, other thing we can do is uh, the heavy guns usually have a mount so we could use a mount here and let's see so maybe this whole thing this pretty huge and uh, maybe have a mount and then uh, you have uh, bullets anyways so just trying to frame a visual here and then you have uh, maybe smoke and everything so so there are pretty few things which uh, which this clears out and the clutter we had in mind so maybe uh, so let me just show you uh, another doodle which i did on the paper so here's the concept sketch this is not a concept sketch but 
I was just sitting down and uh, thinking in what way we can uh, just show the logo unit type. So here we have G U N and maybe the 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 surfaces of the font which you have, either the type we have. The type could be made in a way the gun is made usually the hard surfaces and uh, then the muzzles and everything so basically that tr the transition from the logo and uh, to the muzzle flashes and everything should be valid and should actually be like how the the formations are within the guns so or we could just simply slap our logo right on top of uh, the unit which is more readable so both ways are fine so this is one of the way we uh, this is more uh, challenging i would say uh, but then this doesn't really look heavy and this takes away some of the freedom and uh, in this way we have more clear logo type we can use and then uh, play around more with the with the background of the logo think more think more and uh, just feel free to uh, explore 10 ideas or 20 ideas if you want so as long as you can think faster you can think think in the time and conclude something it's totally up to you how many ideas you want to entertain and uh, but i'm going to stick to some something on the similar line and uh, just try to make a sketch which is much more detailed and uh, see if this works all right so let's try and uh, sketch out the idea that we have the doodles so, but um, just lay out a few more details instead of such a stupid doodle so i'm just going to put down anything which comes to my head and uh, slowly see if i can just add more value or just bring out the visual so let's see if we can bring some more clarity to whatever doodle we just made on the board so i think this could be a 3d yeah it could be a logo unit with a, a depth into it and it could be pretty heavy if the time allows we i think we can do some uh, good surface uh, uh, formation like uh, like the hard surfaces from the guns so we could uh, we can definitely take some textures or uh, some uh, clues from the actual guns so we'll see so here i think uh, some of the empty shells on the on the ground this is going to be like a continuous running running gun so something like this so we don't want to show since we are showing so many guns and all uh i think uh the empty shells is something uh we can fill the ground with another detail we can take advantage of then we have some muzzles at the front and these could be different type of guns pointing from the both side from the left and right this whole thing could be mounted on a very big stand so let's put few guns on the left and right and scopes could be on the top but this uh, whole thing if if you can see here the whole thing is not really a one full model of the gun so even though you can see it's about the guns the the type suggests the guns theme but it's not like a one full model so we are seeing a part of the guns extending this our logo that we have bullets coming out of the the muzzle flashes and the smoke and all so these are also the part of the visual so uh, we shouldn't uh, leave that for the later the smoke as well and the bullets shooting out we could use that as uh, the final stay the final frame instead of uh, guns unloading and then leaving the only the text on the screen we could just show the whole thing in middle of the action filled with all the bullets and all the smoke and muzzle flashes so i think this could look pretty heavy and uh, uh something in line with the brief that we have so i'm using photoshop here and feel free to uh, use any other program of your choice this is going to be just a sketch to communicate with with yourself we are not actually going to present this sketch to a client or something however you can present this to client um basically discuss it. i think this brings out out the idea i guess it's pretty decent i could spend some more time on on this and uh polish out few things before presenting this to client but for now let's uh for our purpose i think this looks pretty fine so this gives us pretty much the whole idea of what needs to be there in the end frame so i think we can play more with the composition uh but let's do that in the 3d but i think for now we have a good suggestion of the uh, the composition is going to be about the formation of everything uh the composition the flow of the composition so similar to the the gustav gun the composition and the 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 lockdown phase i think this composition could also be pointing uh, a little more diagonally instead of straight flat so 
that could be a thing and then at the bottom we have the ammo which which could also add into the motion because we have very few things uh, a few moving parts here i mean the guns are going to move when the impact happens when the recoil happens but the at the bottom of the composition the ammo i think that could be a good way of adding another layer of the motion i'm just trying to think of a few things uh, to add as much motion as possible so at the top we have few bullets on the left and right we have some muzzle flashes at the bottom we have the ammo which is the the chain of the ammo which is going to move and then uh, all of these parts could also be moving and then we have smoke so even though this is a pretty simple logo i think uh, the whole, when everything moves together this could look heavy and uh, i think this will definitely have some uh, good motion into it some practical lighting from the scope could uh, could throw in some red color on the top so let's think about the lighting later for now so i think this is enough for uh, for our purpose and i'm not actually going to get ca carried away and my whole purpose for making this uh, visual is not about achieving uh, uh, great imagery here it's just about the planning and it's just about uh, having more clarity so i think this is be definitely better than the doodle we had before this definitely looks more clear and uh, uh, you can clear uh, paint this further if you want and if you are really good at digital painting i think you can make some uh, light keyframes color keyframes that is totally up to you it's about your strength it's about you trying to figure out your idea the composition looks complete and uh, we can explore more in the in the 3d all right so i'm just going to put one uh, concept sketch board here so let's put this here and uh, what i usually like to do is uh, just take the visual and uh, try to list the things that we have so if if you want to freeze anything in in the layout you simply right click and lock position so there are plenty of things on the left and this is a pretty useful tool and we have done a very detailed video in the past about the millinote so i'm just going to leave that in the description and in the captions here what we have unloading shells so we have these unloading shells and then we have a uh, smoke and then we have a uh, mount muzzle flashes we also need a logo type the font for uh, the main logo unit and then uh, we have scopes and we have ammo and then we need to either model or bring some hard surfaces different parts and the guns we can start gathering the things that we need this is sort of like a list of list of assets that we need here so this combined with uh, the keywords that we had earlier in the brainstorming session so take all this and start searching uh, on the internet on the internet and uh, let's change this icon to a gun so this icon looks fine let's bring few more images here some visuals from the brainstorming session so let's put those here and then i have few images from the wikipedia so another thing i usually do is when uh tommy after the brainstorming session and everything what i like to do is keeping in mind the graph and everything we thought of here uh the kind of progression that we are looking for so the kind of sketch that we have it's good to start thinking about your uh, title sequence from different uh, perspectives like one one of the ways thinking visual and other ways uh, thinking about a medium about uh, uh, approaching how how the lighting is going to work how every rest of the things are going to work so one of the most important thing about that is going to be music so you could also uh think about the whole vibe that is going to be here in this i just did a quick search on the on this website called pixabay so you can download some free music from there if you want so i just uh, did a search for uh, the teaser trailer i found this sound here and uh, which sounds good uh, for our need
So this is not not the final music. I'm not talking about the final music that is going to be. So this sort of something on a on the similar page of for what, what we are looking for. So now when you are thinking of an idea, thinking of a visual, so you need you need to basically feed your brain and uh, in in a different ways. So I I really find it useful more often than usual. I just close my eyes. I listen to the music and uh, after all that brainstorming session so i just try to find a music piece which goes with it or if if i'm working with a team and then i sit with the composer uh sound designer and uh, i just request them to just pull out something on the similar lines so we could uh, the music is going to guide us so this is more like a personal my customized workflow and i'm not quite sure about the other people in the industry and i'm pretty sure everyone have their own way of figuring out the idea so the artist um the music by light saturation on pixabay if you want uh, this exact music piece to visualize your idea or simply just search for teaser trailers or the trailers or epic trailers something like this on uh, on the pixabay or you could also use the youtube's library which they have so when listening to the music there is definitely a build up at the start you have a uh, sort of feels a uh, little less exciting and little less impactful than what i would like this the show title to be about so anyways let's keep this for now yeah okay and uh, so here i'm going to put the rest of the things from the so this is the kind of vibe i want and uh, heavy slow build up and then uh, end with a bang when i'm thinking of a storyboard here so few things which uh, which are clear in my head right now but few things which i'll maybe figure out later so i can definitely think of a few of the pretty dark shots at the start basically teasing the audience with um with all that heavy machines and uh, with the treatment of the light and the highlights so we could just start and tease the audience with uh, and slowly build up towards revealing the whole end frame we just want to keep a uh, contrast in the edit so that early frames should have more of a mystery more of a drama and then uh, more of close ups and revealing a few parts of the entire visual should have the everything in the motion so in the start we have less motion less visual more anticipation and in the end we have more reveal more motion and everything should be there established so i'm just going to share the storyboard and not really draw in front of you so and there's not, nothing much here so let me just bring the storyboard that i have so here i have the storyboard which i basically made from the end frame itself you can see the drawings are pretty simple i didn't really want to bother you with these uh uh simple drawings the detail of the drawings let me just give you a breakdown of what i am thinking of at this moment in the starting we could have a establishing shot and in this establishing shot we don't really have anything moving so there is no motion to it there is no light on in this frame and uh, the all small bits that we can see is basically the specular highlights uh, so partially revealing very minimal suggestion of what's going on in the frame but we can see that something big is in the frame something big is about to be revealed so that is the whole frame is going to be about but we can't really figure out like what this frame is about you could think of it like a car when they have a car teaser so everything is like only the headlights are revealed but the whole body is still dark so the teaser the silhouette and everything so this whole frame is about the silhouette in the frame after that we could just tease the audience more and the, towards while we are approaching the build up we can uh, sh show a few close ups of the muzzle pretty obvious that it's about to be uh, gun the the title of the show is going to be gun so we we are expecting guns but how the guns uh, arranged here the visual of the gun that we don't want to reveal at this moment 
so we want that element of the surprise for the later frames but here revealing the muzzle is not actually going to spoil anything for the audience only this much part we could focus on in one of the frame and play around with the depth of field and uh, the specular and everything even at this point we are keeping everything dark and not really uh, reveal anything it's just going to be a travel of light and then in the similar fashion we could just uh, take a shot of the top of the guns so try to imagine these guns and how these are arranged so at the top of the logo we will have multiple scopes so uh, good looking close-ups of the scopes if we have uh, some interesting models and then uh, in the middle of the frame i was just thinking of the presentation from uh, from the presentation point of view we have a logo for the cross mind so this is the middle of the ident so here we are just teasing in these three frames we are simply teasing the audience so let's keep this one green okay and then uh, these frames are going to be the middle frames and these are going to be the final impactful frames so more towards this this is the center of the sequence so here we start seeing some uh, momentum and some motion in the sequence so things start to sort of uh, load and uh, uh, charge up something like this so i was simply thinking of uh, uh, motion of uh, docking unlocking uh, the moving clips of the guns or maybe the scopes uh, basically turning red the laser beams if there are any then those could be a good way to add sort of a color transition in the visual so let's say if the whole frame is dark and then we red lights of the aim the lasers when those lights turn on we could uh, uh, this simply could mean that we are approaching a danger uh, more critical zone or something like this so here we have these two frames so one of these could be a good looking close-up of the heavy machines that we have the workings of the machine and the the logo appears this could be handle of the guns or any hard surface which, which looks part of the logo after establishing uh, so many guns um, even in the hidden fashion after that point of view if you show any hard surface here it's people are going to connect that with the gun so it doesn't matter what we have here as long as it's, it's in the similar sort of creative direction so then we have uh, the scopes and uh, since at the middle of uh, sequence and if you remember from the early session let me just uh, bring the brainstorming session that we have so we were thinking of a sequence so here we have this graph building up and then now we were thinking of positioning loading aiming and unloading so here we are loading and charging things up before the final reveal so this is more like a build up of the sequence here okay forget about this frame for for a moment so i'm just going to unlock the position and uh, put this in unsorted so forget about that frame in the final frames we are going to just uh, show guns uh, basically start shooting but this would be more of a rapid succession like more consecutive shots this will be very fast paced edit uh, in contrast to what we have so we just want to break the slow momentum and surprise the audience so here we are sort of creating contrast so if you think about this so at the start of the edit we have dark frames dark frames and slow compositions uh, less motion less light less motion narrow view you could say and here in contrast to that in the final reveal we have more lights more motion and uh, establishing view so we have the contrast here and we have a build up going on but one thing when i was working on this storyboard was uh, and this i was uh, actually discussing with one of my friend here uh, who is added to this board so vivek is uh, part of every idea which i work with and uh, yeah i was thinking about this idea and uh, so he was suggesting that instead of uh, instead of keeping this storyboard uh, linear so we have sort of a point aim load and shoot okay that is what is going on so instead of this what if we show some sort of uh, before the final frame this is what he suggested uh, when you're listening to dj or when you have a track so before introducing the final beat they have this sort of a drop in the music so right before the final the high beat is introduced there is a drop in the music that works well with this sequence so instead of going with the linear flow here what we are doing is 
after so at this point the audience is anticipating okay let's shoot okay we have everything ready uh load aim and shoot but here so instead of uh directly in introducing the final frame and we could uh use the a simple non-linear edit and introduce this sort of a surprise these things are going to happen in really rapid succession after this if we just simply directly place these four frames like and uh, just unload the bullets then that is going to be a little underwhelming so this is another layer of uh, um, build up and excitement so here we are showing bullets unloading motion there is uh, there is a flashing light in there and then this could be slow motion and then after this we can just jump to these frames so this was i think a very good addition to the storyboard and uh, don't be discouraged at, at any point if you're not able to draw just find any way if you if you could just find some images or if you could superimpose in the photoshop and you could use any possible medium for the storyboard you're comfortable with use images use sl slides from different images compose um, use photoshop to edit few images one top of other if that makes your image look complete or something just storyboard in any way you want so i think this looks pretty good to me and uh, this could turn out well and i'm pretty sure on every stage uh, there could be a scope of improvement things will there will be some more happy accidents some setbacks so let's take one step at a time and uh, start building very early stage of the production and uh, even though we are at this early stage we slowly are building up towards this is substantial work another addition i want to do uh, i have prepared for this uh, presentation already so these are going to be mood board and color palette at the early stage we had a few visuals in mind so these are basically the visual attributes and inspiration that we have now after that we were just typing down few of the keywords so this mood board is more of like uh, towards those de details so these are not for the final picture but the mood board is about the details how the things are going to unload what is the uh, the motion of the muzzle flash the animation of the the things falling on the floor the empty shells so one by one i started searching about the things so this image about the surfaces the detail of the surfaces the kind of models i could use so i started searching for uh, different guns and uh, so if you are looking for uh, some sort of uh, a visual atlas for for guns then you could uh, search for uh, uh, the cyberpunk then you could search for wolfenstein and uh, these are pretty good games for the guns so wolfenstein have a uh, pretty crazy ideas for the guns and even the cyberpunk the mass effect have some pretty good guns so at this moment i don't really have a, a vision for what kind of guns we should show but i think if we are going for uh, something uh, so heavy and loaded so it can't be from uh, early era where guns were pretty limited so if we we are showing for something loaded and like um, so many bullets coming out of it it, it it would be from modern or the future era so we could take some liberty we could uh, use some creative freedom here and don't really have to stick to the reality it could be a bit exaggerated larger than life so this type it looks like uh, the part of the part surface the the arrangement of the led letters it looks like guns then uh, i have few images here and these are more like details this photo is by the and andrew here you can find more about him on the behance so just search for this on pinterest or something like this you will find it on the pinterest and then this one is from the world of the tanks and uh, these are from different movies so this one is from the google again world of tanks here so this work is by mr pebble here's the reference you can just search for his, this artist and uh, if you want more inspiration so i just want to uh let you know guys like where this work is coming from so the mood board is i kept it about details and then uh, there is other board which is uh, about the color palette so the color palette i was thinking about for the early stages of the storyboard let me just uh, go back to the storyboard so here we we will have absence of the light we could just use the silhouette just use a uh, few highlights and some ambient light a practical light so just think of armory everything has been just lying there for quite some time deactivated and only the only thing we could see is uh, like some blinking red leds and then blue light uh, that we have in the ambience so for that and uh, then in contrast to that like i was suggesting here uh, we could show some practical light 
uh, coming from the LEDs of the the interface of the gun uh, it could be scope and the lasers and all that so the the red color we definitely want for that the warm color orange or the red and then this palette i was thinking uh it's it's pretty common and these were a few references i collected so the the red against blue is a uh, it's a very common palette used uh, in the action sequences or for for the drama action drama even here you can see when the lockdown is in in this formation and the background is warm and blue so th this is a con high contrast visual and uh, but we are going to use some practical lighting but what you can do is you can also search for uh, there's a website for the palettes if you want to generate some palettes so there is a this thing called coolers.co so there are a few tools to generate color palettes so explore palettes uh, if you're having difficulty thinking of palettes then um, and there are a few interesting palettes here let's see if we can find something for the action drama yeah so we have few palettes here for the drama and uh, these are the saturation is quite low for our purpose but this one looks good but again in contrast to blue there is a uh, yellow here one interesting thing you can do with this so you can upload an image and based on that it's going to give you a palette let me just use the stock for now here so let's say if i like this color palette so you could just find something on the internet and choose colors and it's going to save a palette for you and then you can export your palette let's say export palette and uh, copy url and just paste it here there you go you have a palette for you it works pretty well so just keep this in mind coolers.co or the other way could be just simply think of uh, the inspiration that the movies that you've seen it's not that difficult to figure out and uh, just think of the most popular movies that you you have seen in the recent past so since we are dealing with the action title sequence something uh, for gun we definitely don't want to go with the rom romantic movies so we want something to do with the matrix john wick transformers we want top gun and terminator something like this so think of those movies think of their uh the high peak sequences the most most iconic sequences like this one is from the underground of the john wick one this one i think is the pacific rim and this one is from halo this one is from transformers and this one is from godzilla versus uh i think uh, king kong and this is uh, i'm pretty sure everyone knows valorant so i i can see some similarity here in the color palette so i i felt a bit confident about this palette i saw some visual clues yeah across all these references and this was pretty common so yeah that, that was for the color palette and then uh, so that's about it and now what we need is uh, resources before we start uh, preparing the visual the end frame for everything based on uh, this list that we have from the concept sketch so we need to prepare all of these assets and then uh, usually i have a plan of action for the a few things which coming in my mind at this moment is few things are about uh, the concept few things are about technical things like what plugin do i need what tool i need to download and all that and then we have few more things in mind i'm just trying to make a plan of action for i mean i just want to keep these things in mind in the priority to try out so while all of this and the the concept work we are doing at this uh, at the same time you also want to think about how you're going to execute this so some homework you need to do so you're just sitting down with your laptop and then um uh, so find the find the vibe for the music i think we already did that and the read all the details from the from the brand board and brainstorm end frame then list of number of assets and find resources we need to do this and then try 3d scans and uh, flip uh, fluid add-on simulation add-on brainstorm idea and then uh, try different fonts try sketch fab uh, models so these were things which were coming in my mind when i was reading all these assets and references try emergent for the simulation add-on and uh, render out test sequence for the animation so this sequence i just wanted to try out a very simple animation before i make the entire thing so this i'll do later this is a pretty good way to basically uh, this is more like your work is divided into active work and passive work so this is more like once you are done with your active work then you after that you're just sitting with the coffee and just maybe passively working and you're just thinking of few things on the internet you could just casually sit down run few trials just think of the plugins and tools and this and that so this you can do on the go 
the next thing is going to be about uh, gathering few resources so here i have this one another board i have prepared already so i didn't want it to just drag the video so i'm just editing things down so one of the first thing was uh, to think of the the logo and the font so this font the let me just big mecca so this font works pretty well since we are just doing this uh, for the tutorial purpose so i didn't really wanted to overburden you guys with the type design so it's a completely different area to explore this font is pretty good and uh, for for the kind of hard surfaces that we uh, the reference that we had in mind if you remember from the mood board so we were thinking these references and this reference so based on that i think uh, this this could be an interesting font and this would look uh, sort of part of uh, the hard surfaces that we're going to use in the background and uh, these are free to download but uh, i think uh, you need to read their licenses and before downloading anything from anywhere which is suggested in this tutorial read out the license information and then i searched for a few paid models and third party models and a few free models so there are there's a pretty good collection on the sketchfab on the sketchfab just uh, search for models and then uh, filter things out by downloadables so i'm not really going to use the full models so all i wanted was some parts if you remember from the concept sketch so i need some muzzles and uh, since we are not really making this for a uh, cinematic i think the mid resolution could work fine for for the dis uh, distant shot also just keep in mind these are under creative common attribution just learn more about the license information what you need to do to use this model and also please credit the artist for anything you're downloading i really like this view the surfaces here i think there's a pretty decent model for the kind of treatment we are going the dark lights and the specular highlights so some of these parts would look pretty pretty good this is again by another great artist and under the creative common so for this model i really like the the top part and the details here for the top view so when we are showing the scopes and everything we could use this or extract some parts from here like when we are doing the let me just go to the storyboard for this frame i was thinking for the close-ups we could use some of these parts uh let's see i haven't decided it yet another great model by the same artist pretty well made model so since we are not really working on a commercial project i'm not actually going to spend too much time on uh, quality checking the models so if this was for game i would definitely quality check things twice before uh, downloading anything and since this is for cinematic i think uh, we would be fine and uh, if you are good with designing stuff you can make your own model your own hard surface models that is totally up to you i usually grab few things uh, from the internet whether it's paid or free or whatever resources i can use to speed up my workflow it, when working on the commercial projects that is pretty standard exercise i follow and uh, i think it's unwise to just do everything by yourself so if you guys download anything from here just do give it a like and uh, do leave your comment and it really helps artists to get more recognition and appreciation for the work and then uh, i was just going through atlas for the guns this is from the wolfenstein i was mentioning so these are pretty amazing looking models but i don't really have we don't really have these models but close to this uh these perfect great looking surfaces i found uh this great artist on the uh this guy have the best looking collection for the hard surface models i will use some of these models i think i really like these so these are way too futuristic for uh, and way too artificial for the kind of treatment we are going for instead of using the these whole uh entire guns i think i could extract some part from this and some part from the sketchfab models the the name of the artist is or like or you could just uh, search for hard surface models on the gumroad blender market turbo squared there are many websites yeah so i have few atlas and scattered resources here so i just dumped everything here and then we have pixabay for the music and uh, this list is for that so i just quickly went through all these music pieces if i could find something much better than what we already have so about the music we will discuss later anyways so there are a few resources so after gathering all of these i just imported everything in the blender and then uh, just extract anything from the models the parts that you think are useful so sit with your color palette and download the font keep your storyboard in front of you keep this inspiration board in front of you and then keep the final concept in front of you so putting all these together in one board then after this we are going to start with the style frame so i think this is quite a substantial work you have done if you are working on your own project if you're following along 
if you have made it so far i i just want you to know that this is a pretty important part that you have covered if you guys are following up and uh, you are coming up with your own idea and the board feel free to tag me in your board feel free to just publish your board public from here you can make uh, your board public i think so there there is some way to just uh, keep it shareable so you could just leave the link in the description or uh, in the comment section and uh, i would love to see it what kind of idea you're thinking of and how you're executing that idea and uh, please keep in mind i'm repeating this again and again anything you're downloading just be respectful to the artist be uh, just send some appreciation and read the license information and don't misuse anything without the credit use the millionote.com and just try to organize everything this might would sound boring in the first attempt but this is the most important part of the phase the idea is everything and this would take time if you're not really clear in your head the software is not going to give you anything and you will have much harder time figuring things out in the 3d than figuring this out on a whiteboard so just stick to the whiteboard stick to the sketching and try to go easy on the first step in during the ideation and just let the ideas flow don't constrain yourself too much with the medium just use uh, any free flowing sort of uh, anything you're comfortable with and use that to record your idea in the best way possible so whatever is in your head is a perfect image it should be translated in the exact same way on the board so that later on you don't forget anything so anyways i hope you guys enjoy this session and uh, this is uh, quite a different chapter usually from the usual stuff that we do on the channel and my voice is a bit it's a so, sort of a breaking and i kind of i think i'm catching cold here so and again apologize for the delay and uh, uh there, there was a few series of unfortunate events so the first thing the tree fell on the tower and uh, the tower broke the wire of my internet then uh, i took the file in the pen drive and i came home and i pasted the file in the folder dropbox folder but the dropbox folder sort of uh did the overwrite with the previous version on the new file so i lost that file so i was just redoing the whole script again yeah so the weather is pretty bad here it's been four days so my internet is still not working and i'm uh, using uh, some mobile data to upload this pretty bummer so i hope you guys are still excited to push this along and uh, please do leave your comments in the comment section any thoughts any questions any feedback if you want i would i would be more than happy to be involved with anyone who is working on uh, who is working on pushing their limits and uh, want to know more about the idea preparation ideation storyboard anything but whatever we have discussed so far and interested in the bonus stuff will have an option to get all the resources of this workshop from my gumroad page for which you can find the link in the description so this will include all the final files for the entire sequence all the shots the animations the lighting fx camera and render setups all that will be there in the files but keep in mind any third party models which i have used in the projects are trimmed out and not really full models uh, only parts which are visible and uh, are part of the final shots are there so full models are not really part of the scene and the reason behind this is to optimize the final renders and also if you want to acquire the original assets uh, the sketchfab art station and gumroad links will be provided in the boards where you can actually find the original artist and buy the assets from there originally in the full original condition and support their work and also a few of the smoke and muzzle simulations and the vdbs which i've used in this project so in case if you really want to uh, just quickly drag and drop sim some vdb simulations like muzzle flashes or the the ground smoke etc so these will be uh, the part of the pack as well and uh, all the visual boards from the workshops including uh, the brainstorming session storyboard concept sketch mood board style frames etc so all these boards will be uh, available for you to access as well and all the sales will be great support for our channel and will enable us to produce more educational content in the future so the next step is going to be about preparing style frames and we'll take everything that we have the models and everything we have prepared and then we'll make a 3d frame out of that so it's going to be pretty exciting and i don't want to jinx uh, by when i will upload but it's going to be pretty soon in one or two or three days so 
स्टेट्यून सब्सक्राइब थैंक यू फॉर ट्यूनिंग इन बाय